Hello everybody, welcome back to Cooking with Brenda and David. Tonight we're going to try plum cobbler. It's been a long time since I've had any, but we're going to try it. It's been a long time since I made it. Anyway, let's go. I'm starting out with about six cups of plums. And I'm going to melt me some butter here to cook them in. You don't really have to cook these, but I like to. So you just got some regular plums and chopped them up? Yeah, a couple, uh -oh, watch the, everything's going to go wrong. I mean, we'll let it go. Listen, let it go. What's the matter? Some, I don't know what's going on in there. The burning ants? Probably everything in there. No flour. Anyway, I've got about two tablespoons of butter in there that I'm melting. And I've got apples cooking at the same time, so I'm going to try to keep them stirred up. Well, that's not part of this, though. No, this ain't part of that. I'm trying to freeze me some more apples. And I'm going to make us an apple crumble or apple pie or something here soon, too. And we'll make that next after I get this plum cobbler. I gotta watch this because I don't want it to stick. You just blew your nose on your hand? No, I won't. <laughs> it was itching, I just went right up. I know, there. I'm just picking on By you. By the way, I want to thank everybody for the nice gifts. I'm gonna tell you, yesterday I cried when I opened some gifts. I got some things. There was something I had really wanted and I couldn't find it. So I found somebody sent me one. That hamburger masher I wanted. I seen this man using one one time and I said, well, that's neat and I want one. That well, is kind of cool. Yeah, it's like a propeller yeah. on a boat or something. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to dump my plums in. And I'm going to put in about... Two. I'm going to use some brown sugar right now. It's about three quarters of a cup. And I'm going to get me a spoon. And we're just basically going to... Dissolve our sugars all about all we're going to do and get the butter all mixed in them. We use quite a bit of butter in this, in my opinion, and sugar, but it's good. Now, I'm going to tell you this is um, some brown sugar, but I'm going to use some um, Splenda blend. It's the food line brand, but it's a Splenda blend. And that's what my daughter uses, so I, I like using it too. It's a little less sugar there going on, I hope. So you got some brown sugar, but you're going to use that instead of some more sugar then? Brown okay. sugar in here, but I'm also going to make some flour. Oh. I'm going to make some flour up here. Get this sugar all the Oh, you know what? I need to do something else. What is that thing? A lemon? lemon? I don't have none of that stuff to mash with. I'm not fancy. I don't have none of that fancy stuff. Give me do it. I might have to. <laughs> you just need about a half a teaspoon. And I had these, so I thought I'll just use it. Maybe I'll put more. Who knows? There's a plenty of brown sugar, so it's all right. And just mix all that in there real good together. So you kind of got that on a little bit high, it seems like. Yeah, I do. I need to turn it down. That's crazy. Yeah, you know, I was just trying to melt my butter and stay yeah. with it, you know. But you got don't need to cook nothing high on these pots. Yeah, Nothing. Medium's high for these pots, you know. You have to stay with it. Because they really get hot. You've liked them things ever since that day you got them at the fair. Well, I've been to the fire several times, and me and my mom and dad sat and watched a cooking show one day, and we sampled and all kinds of stuff, so um, it was fun, it was good, and I wanted them after that. I just wanted them. So I just kept going to the fire, and when I go get hot, I go inside the auxiliary hall and sit down and watch a cooking show or something, and sample. So I, I love them, but I'm going to do some, I'm going to cook some things with these soon, okay, and show you some of what they'll do. What? They these things will do some um you know if it can be good for you, these will cook it good for you. <laughs> That's what they'll do. 
So, um, so what are you just doing there? Just warming them up? Yeah, I'm just basically going to warm them up some of the melt that sugar and the lemon juice and everything together and all that, some butter. Okay, that's probably done enough. Let's turn that down. Okay, I'm going to melt some butter in the oven. I got a stick of butter in there, okay? And I'm just going to put it on about 350 right now to melt that butter. In the meantime, we're going to come over here and do some stuff. Okay, I got all-purpose flour. You can use self-rising. As a matter of fact, we've always used self-rising, but I got too much all-purpose, so I'm just going to use it. That's a cup and a half. Cup and a half of the blend. Of that stuff blend, over blend there. yeah. Okay. Good day. I'm going to use two eggs. This is not, this is funny how this works. It really is. Um, we probably look at these look at these are new my bowls here are new i love them and something really fascinating i'll show you that in a minute let me not forget what i'm doing here that's a half a teaspoon let's cook it there it is there's a teaspoon probably better put two or three of these in there what is that more sugar baking powder i'm gonna put three okay Hope that ain't too much. It'll probably rise up to be big as a balloon. Okay, and a cup of milk. Well, about a teaspoon of vanilla. Baking powder. Mm-hmm. Huh. We'll put about a teaspoon of vanilla. I heard if you're using regular vanilla instead of the real thing, put about a teaspoon and a half or two teaspoons. Hey, I've been drinking this tea. It's a honey and vanilla. Oh, my gracious, it's so good. It is so good. I love it. So, okay, now we're going to get this stirred up here. Put some milk in it. We got, oh, I forgot to put something in here. Well, let's put it in here and I'll stir it up a little bit more. These pots stay hot for a while. What was that? That was about a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. It's been a while. I had everything ready, but I, I just had Well, just don't get too fast. Just slow down. So I'm just getting this mixed in here so all of them will be coated. It's about half a half a teaspoon to three quarters, okay? All right, then a cup of milk. Should have used more than a cup, but that's enough, I think. Let me find the spoon I want to stir with. All the gifts and cards that I've been getting is so nice. I started opening and reading some cards yesterday, and, and I'm going to answer them, okay? And you started crying, freaking I, me out. I cried. <laughs> I, I'm very tender hearted, and, and my subscribers are so good to me. I, yeah, I know you got that pretty thing right there. You my ape, my bracelet, and look at this bracelet. Oh, yeah. it is gorgeous. You haven't took that thing off since you and got it. And it's nice, it's got the double clasp on it. Oh, <laughs> I haven't took it off since I put it on yesterday. And it's so beautiful. It's black and silver. I love it. I just can't believe that you're sending me stuff like that. And that's so nice of everybody. And let's get this mixed up here good. When we would make some in just a smaller glass dish, we put a cup of sugar, a cup of flour, a cup of milk, a stick of butter, a teaspoon of vanilla. Of course, it's using self-rising flour. And it was always so good because we didn't always have a lot of stuff like this growing up. And, you know, some, one year somebody gave Mommy some peaches and we canned them. And any time we could get stuff like that, we would can it. Then we could have a cobbler. And you can put any kind of fruit like this. If you can make a cobbler, you can use berries, cherries, peaches. You can add peaches with this if you want to. You can mix them up, whatever you want in them, and make cobblers. They're very easy. If you're just going to make one in a smaller, not a 9 by 13, it would be a 13, but probably a 7 or 8 across the other side. Use a cup of sugar, a cup of flour, a cup of milk, but one egg, and a teaspoon of vanilla, and there you got it. You make it sound simple. It is simple. It's just that simple. I can remember, and a stick of butter. Well, I melt my butter in there now. That stick of butter is melting in there right now. And when it gets done, I'm going to pour this out in it. Oh. Um, you melt your butter first, and after you melt your butter, you're going to pour your flour mixture in to on top of it. Now 
I'm just going to let that sit there for a minute while that's... Let it rest just for a minute while my stuff's getting ready in there. We get the dirty stuff out of the way. You know, with these bowls, with these bowls, I've got these measuring spoons, new measuring cup, and I'm going to tell you something I love. And look what me and my mom done. We canned beets. And we canned beets. They, we got a whole, I got lab and, and, and see my new tools. They work so good. I love them. They seen me trying to get that lid out there, and this has a magnet. Yeah. It has a magnet and it'll pick them right up. Did your mommy like them? Oh, yeah, she likes them. Yeah. But it'll pick them lid rings right up with it and this picks the jars up, so I'm not going to get burnt anymore. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> and listen. I, I wish I could have uh, could have been there that day and filmed you and your mom doing those beats. Well, and, I took them and went to Giles. I took my stuff and went to Giles yeah. and my mom. She and you got your, we found this at an old country store that was going out of business and it was still new in the box and you got it for one dollar, didn't you? You like my things here and them beautiful, my beautiful flowers? And I look, didn't even know what it was till today. I know, we've been drinking tea. <laughs> we drunk some with probiotics because probiotics is good when you have RA. But and that old store was going out of business. And it was a, it was a, I didn't know what it was. I thought it was another glass figurine or something. Well, it was tarnished a little bit, so it's silver coated. But I didn't care. Inside this is yeah, not dirty. That's not bad for a dollar. Why not? And we put. A I little, didn't even know what it was. You just put a little tea light under there, and it keeps it hot. <laughs> it's good. So we sip it ready. Almost. I'm gonna have to use this space here. You like my flowers? Yeah, they're beautiful. Well, this thing right here, I didn't think it was real, but it is real. I wonder what it is. I don't, they're just decorative flowers. But look at that, they're real. I, I thought they were plastic when I felt them and I took them, I was cutting this stuff. And I said, those are real, <laughs> they're not plastic. You ever try some of your root starter on there and see what happens? I might do it, you know. But some of this stuff's tropical, it won't grow around here. All right, let's get it out. You, you don't want your uh, butter to burn, okay? So you have to keep an eye on it. Now listen, you can use any kind of sugar you want in this. You can use margarine, you can use butter. Dang, that thing's hot. No, it's hot. You can use flour, I mean, you can use it, butter or margarine, any kind of flour, or any kind of sugar. But if you do stuff rising, you don't need anything else. Now that's hot, but. So that's what that is, self rising or something? Yeah, but that, I, I need to move out a minute. It's not level there. I'm going to have that rubber stuff level. Well, i got to fix it one of these things. With a new one. Is anything level? <laughs> <laughs> good that gracious. pan probably ain't level. That thing's old as the hills. That's all right. It cooks good. I like it. Well, what I'll do is... It will burn your fingers. I'm just going to start pouring... Right in the middle, and it'll spread the butter out. It kind of looks nasty, don't it? I know. It ain't, though. It's I good. know. Just the way it does. Looks like something Grandpa used to use to feed the hogs with. Why don't I get in there? I guess it's just part of whatever's in there. And look at here. I like this stuff. Look, I got a, another one, a blue one, and I got a really neat one. What do I do with it? I put my dish towel up there just to make sure it stays clean. I love this thing. <laughs> so if I think you do cake icing with it, this is not the thing to do with this one. But I'll tell you, yeah, I like it. I just like it. And I do still do this. It stuck with me when Mommy always told me to do this. Get it all out. It meant I got David in here to help me do the plums. Get it all out of there. You use a cup and a half because you need a cup and a half, not a yeah, cup well, and three quarters. We were cutting the plums. I helped you cut them. I got him in here to help me cut the plums, and he did. He come on in. <clears throat> now you just add your fruit to the top of it. Start anting it up there. Annie it up, you know. Don't I talk like a real live hillbill? <laughs> Annie it up. <laughs> Doesn't matter. That's part of what makes me me, right? Mm -hmm. Jesus made us all different. I hope y'all tried this. This is something so simple. And if you got a lot of children, 
get a, get a cheap box of vanilla ice cream. You don't have to have ice cream much. You put cool. If you don't have to have nothing, this has got plenty of sugar by itself. But if you got several children and you and your husband and a live-in, you know, any, anybody that family wants to live in, and this is enough for everybody. Now, this uh, flour stuff will bake right up in between this fruit. Oh, so it kind of bakes all together and make like a paste or something around it. And this is a 9 by 13. This is a big pan to fill. So you do need 5 to 6 cups more than likely. Well, I don't know, you know. Probably do back with 4 or 5 cups. But that's okay. I'm using, I like a lot of fruit in mine. I just hope that the flour can come up between it. It will. It will. It's just a good dessert. Real good dessert. You don't mash it down or nothing, okay? And that's all there is to it. I'm going to uh, cover it up with some foil and put it in the oven. And then we'll check it after about 30 minutes and see what's going on with it. It's going to take longer, I'm sure, and each oven varies, but I'm going to check it in about 30 minutes so I, it won't burn. I bought, I bought this cheap foil and I'm regretting it. You, you get what you pay for when you buy cheap foil and cheap plastic wraps and stuff. Okay, we'll be back in a little bit. That was Okay, we've had it in here about an hour. Now I did, what I did, I had to put it five more minutes to brown some because I took the foil off and it needs to be a little bit browner, so I browned it some. Looks good, too. It smells good, too. It smells delicious. I'm telling you, it does. <laughs> so, looks so pretty there. Looks good, don't huh, honey? Mm -hmm. you give me something on here to try. Might better make sure it's then hot. I shouldn't take it around that first like this. Oh, it looks so good. I gotta go see my mom tomorrow and help her out, and I'm gonna take her some of it. She's gonna love it. It's always nice to have nice homemade things like this. It's so good and tasty. Let's see what it looks like. Let me get this one out and then you'll be able to see it. Look. Look at that. Ain't that pretty? Wow, that smells good. Mm-hmm, it is good. You smell that vanilla? Mm-hmm. That's probably more than you'll ever eat. But anyway, I'll eat it if you don't. It's so good. David Hall, I think it's going to take us a minute to get this cooled up for you. It's fresh right out of the oven, that's for sure. Yep, fresh right. You can put vanilla ice cream, cool whip, or just like it is is good. And look at here. I thickened this up just a little bit with a little bit of um, what is it? sure gel. It was the juice out of them that I was cooking those plums in. Mm -hmm. You can pour a little bit so of it if you want to, just a little bit of that juice. You put something in it and done something? I put a little bit of sure gel in it and thickened it up a little bit. I thought that would be good poured over it. Extra little goodness, a little bit of goodness there. I bet kids will like that. All kids will like this if they like fruit. Get up there. Uh. I hope it's good for you. I don't know. You better be careful. <clears throat> mm. <laughs> oh, did it burn you? Mmm. <laughs> Hey, yeah. I got a, mm, and a thumbs up that time. I can't wait to eat right. some. It's been so long since I had any. Man, it's been a while. It I shouldn't good. wait so long to make stuff like that. But I got the plums, and I thought, what can I make with them plums? They were on clearance at the store, and I'm like, they'll put five or six or eight of them in a bag, you know. I think there was like eight in them little bags, 99 cents. So I get them. It's like I got some avocados tonight and some lemons, and I got some um, squash yesterday or day before. 
And I share with my family, my daughter, my granddaughter, and all them. We share. They eat it. My granddaughter and her man eats a lot of vegetables. They're health food nuts, let me tell mm -hmm. you. So they eat a lot. She cooks with a lot of that stuff and seasoning. <laughs> it's good. Yeah, I went below the mountain and got you some apples and some beets. And the beets turned out real good. The pickled beets. Are beets are beautiful. They're good, and too. We've wish done we'd tried had, some. Uh, yeah, we should have had that. Did you leave your mom some of them pickled beets? No, she's got some. She wouldn't keep none. She's already got some, so. But she helped you. I wish I could have got that. And so here's some of them apples from below the mountain. We're going to take them. i got to drain them, sweeten them. And you're going to. They put, don't need much sugar. You're not going to can those, are you? No, I'm putting them in the freezer. Freezer put, bags. You know what? Yeah. You can put down bags and get all the air out, and they'll stack right together. And that's so. It's a lot easier than canning them and a lot cheaper, too, really. Right now, it's cheaper to put use the freezer bags. Yeah, it's a little bit harder to find them cannily at things and stuff. I but. mean, we always we always canned the apples and, and quartz, you know, growing up. and um, we, Because there was always a lot of us when we had breakfast. We we had apples with breakfast and dinner if there were some left, but usually it wasn't. So I love apples and biscuits and gravy. That's one of my favorite childhood meals for us breakfast. Mm, mm, mm. So good. Well, anyhow, I hope y'all give this a try. You can use any kind of fruit you want. And like I said, if you're going to just use peaches or something like that, you can use a cup of sugar, a cup of flour, a cup of milk. It's all, It's. I think it's good though with a cup and a half of sugar and flour. So you could do it the same way, but do peaches too. If you use fresh peaches or you can use canned you can use all kinds of fruit and stuff. Um, all kinds of stuff. But these are fresh berries, fresh, fresh plums because we cut them up at night. Mm -hmm. You can mm. make a cherry cobbler. You can make a berries. You can make them in any kind you want. Don't forget that this this is a um, a cup and a half of sugar, a cup and a half of flour. You can use self rising flour, which makes it easier. And if you use plain, then you use about three tablespoons of. Uh, Turned out good with three tablespoons, three teaspoons of uh, baking powder. Stick of butter, teaspoon, teaspoon and a half of vanilla. And you've seen what I've done with the plums, but now if you're doing peaches and stuff, it might be a little bit different. Well, that wins we always use our canned ones that we can, so they're already cooked. Yeah. Okay, well, I guess I hope that everybody will try some things. And again, thanks everybody for the gifts. I'm trying to thank everybody now on the computer. So anyhow. You got anything planned for the future? Uh, anything? Mm-hmm. Especially? Something using apples. Something using apples. Yep. Okay. A couple of things using apples because I got a few apples I've saved for them. Okay. Got some apples I've saved. So anyhow, we'll see y'all real soon. Bye. That's good.